I'm Tracy Bowdy. I am the field crop entomologist with OMAFRA down here at Richtown. In 2011, summer has been quite an insect year, uh, in particular two main insects that are currently now becoming a problem is western bean cutworm and uh, soybean aphids. Uh, western bean cutworm being a new invasive insect over the last few years that arrived here and um, we've been dealing with monitoring it and determining some research um, just to figure out what some of the management strategies are. This year in particular, we have over 800 traps being uh, monitored by growers and reps, and they are sending us their data uh, on a weekly basis to know how many moths are out there flying. And based on those numbers, uh, my crew go out and scout, and so we're hearing both from my crew as well as uh, reps right now that there are quite a few egg masses being laid and unfortunately, the corn crop in particular is in the ideal growth stage for egg laying, which is the pre-tassel to tassel stages. So uh, we could be seeing some growers needing to be um, out there spraying and managing this pest in the next uh, week or so. And unfortunately, temperatures aren't cooperating because these high temperatures certainly aren't uh, ideal to be able to spray insecticides. So we do have to hold off uh, for a few days until this heat wave is uh, over with. The other insect pest that is a problem is soybean aphids. And they have been building up in particular in soybean fields that weren't treated with cruiser seed treatments, though there are quite a lot of other fields that are now starting colonies of soybean aphids that could build up. Fortunately, they, these temperatures aren't ideal for soybean aphids, so their reproduction is going to be slowed down. So this week in particular, we get a little bit of a break, but once the heat wave passes, uh, growers and reps really do need to be out there scouting and looking for this insect and seeing if they reach threshold and managing if they need to. To get all of this insect information out there, we've been very busy at hosting uh, numerous crop events uh, or diagnostic days, uh, Southwest diagnostic days, as well as Eastern Ontario crops diagnostic days and Farm Smart demo. As well, you can find um, us at different soil and crop events. And of course, a lot of this information is being delivered in both the Bowdy Bug blog as well as Twitter account. And um, of course, our newsletters like Crop Pest Ontario, that's run through MAFRA.